Welcome, here's a first look at the game. I'm not going to lie, right now I forget the name of the game. <laughs> it's in the title. When we look at the settings, we've got language, show player names, subtitles, UI text, small, medium, or large. I kind of like it big, you know what I'm saying? The text size. Uh, user data collection, nope. Audio, master, SFX, music, speech, speaker mode. And I do have the music down in case it plays and it's a little too loud. When it comes to display, we've got the brightness. These are all the default settings. First person view. Third person view in the mech. And we've got the uh, screen shake strength and the bob view strength. Graphics is interesting. Performance is 60. Take a look at the whole screen there. The ground, the light, the sun. You could see the sun peaking just a little wee bit at the top right there next to the word performance. And we can go ahead and actually put that in quality mode. Now that's not what happened. I actually have to turn the bloom on and then back off again. So actually, to be honest with you, let me just leave this on like this for a minute. First of all, the lens flare does that. You can see the little circles for the lens flare. This is what you need to look at here. Performance and quality with the bloom on, right? It looks better with a dark. It's basically a shadow thing. I'm not noticing any kind of texture differences whatsoever. Uh, and then the, whether you're in quality mode or not, that's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. So it's oversaturated. There's essentially no shadows, which is why I figure quality is good. And then turning off the bloom, just because, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. Anyhow, controls. We could turn down the sensitivity. Controller vibration, toggle sprint. Okay, nobody cares about this. Now let's just get into the game. If feedback help, I'm stuck. Controls, photo mode. You could just save. Save and quit and quit. Okay. So I am in quality mode, and it is, uh, from what I would say, it feels like 30 FPS, but... I don't know. For this game, I feel like that's not that big of a deal. I had to pause my recording. I had misplaced my Die Pepsi. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I just grabbed my PlayStation controller. Because that's my main console. That game is not on there. That's why I have an Xbox for these oddball one-off games. Yeah, so yeah, you could feel it's 30 FPS, but to be honest with you, for like I just said again, for this kind of game, it's subjective. For some people, it'll be a big deal, and for others, it will not be so. Now, I could see that my mech is over there, but I do want to do, I want to do, do, okay. Let's take a look at something here. I want to see if draw distances or anything else is affected Okay, so if you look in the in the background there, to the right of the settings panel, we could see the shadows naturally. But in terms of draw distance, I mean, and there's some spots where you see more shadows on the ground, but that could just be because of the bend of the hill and how the light uh, shines. It's really hard to say, but yeah. Whatever. I'm having fun. That's all I know. Game is on Game Pass, by the way. Whoa, slow down there. Who are you trying to spike? The pickaxe can break trees, stones, and other materials. RT is to strike. Wow. How do we pick it up? Okay, that's cracking it. That's great. Okay. Hold LT and press RT to launch items at the mech to add them to the image. Oh, that's interesting. So apparently you have no pockets. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech in yours back in one piece. I don't recall her speaking to me. When I was playing the demo. This is a different version of the game. 
Uh, yeah. Patch the engine. I only know a little bit about this because, again, I did the demo for like 10 minutes and then the game just came out. See, that just automatically attached on its own. Can I? Oh, let's see if I could throw it. I can. That's so cool. Flip that son of a bitch. Mech warrior farming. Titan farm. Whatever y'all want to call it. I did all this. I grabbed all the tools. And then the goddamn thing changed. And, uh... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting yes after 200 years. Name's PIP-3R. That's Piper, for sure. Up there in the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. But enough introductions. Let's get you situated and make you at home. I don't remember that green star thingy either. Or that left arm really going up and down like that. All these weird little details I'm just kind of noticing. But in terms of rendering distance and how the game feels and looks, I'm liking it. I mean, it's hard for me not to like it. The game was free with my Game Pass. So we could argue and say, well, then was it really free? You had to pay for Game Pass. Quit being a smartass. That's my job, not yours. The Sprout Cannon. Trees and large plants in the ground. The Sprout can Plant Sprouts. Sorry, it helps if I read properly. It never ceases to amaze. That magnificent mech. Those high-powered tools. And even that ship of yours. The Farm Mech Project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got cancelled in the end. Yeah, so... In the demo, you ended up starting off the game with the saw. And it, that was probably for obvious reasons to kind of give you an inkling as to what it's like. Because I was just going to town here looting a bunch of crap. And then I built a box and I hadn't even done the primary objective yet. The vacuum is cool. You can suck up water. And then you can spray stuff. I'll just show you after. See? You can suck up water with the vacuum. It always puzzled me why Earth was so Plants? To give up on the farm mech project. Oh. Sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. Yeah, there are a few things different than the demo. These little rainbow thingamabobbers look pretty cool. Oh, I can already... Yeah, small plot. Small ten, tent. I'll eventually get the talking properly pat down. Hello, little swift plume. You look interesting. Nice to know that nothing can kick our ass in this game because there's no combat. But even if there was, nobody would still be able to kick our ass. There we go. That's the thing you start off with. You could jab... The rock, yeah, you need an upgraded one, but you would jab the rock with uh, with this. Well, abandoning the Lightyear frontier for Mars does make sense. I feel like it does it a little it slower, and that's cool. Would sustain Earth's population at least for a while. And then the plants, you just go like that.
That's what I'll do to your thumb if you give it a thumbs down. You know, on the channel, right? All right, enough about that cringy shit. Where else do we need to go? Getting dark. I'm unaware of a way to skip night. But we do have a flashlight. You push down on the right stick. I hate games that have you playing in the dark. Playing hooky all by your lonesome. And then... It's so dark. And you can't see shit. Am I going in the right place? Oh, we can tame... Whatever is in there. Grab a little bit of stuff. I'll grab a large bush. Even though I much prefer a peach. Okay, that's enough of that. That's why my videos get less than 20 views each. After five years. Comments like that. Yeah, I'm not at all bothered by the 30 FPS. It's doable. Oh. Mission started. Yeah, this is where you, uh... You spray them. Like this. The noxious... Slime. And then when you run out of water, you just go to a pond. And then that's it. Simple as that. See? So you would have to... Uh, quickly here. Wonder if there's a way to... Hot switch between two weapons? It's showing that we can use a mouse... And a keyboard too, which is cool. And it's actually showing that by default because I don't even have a mouse and keyboard connected to my Xbox. I do to my PlayStation, but it doesn't know that. So that could be potentially like a small oversight because it's not showing us the, the controls for that. Create a mission. How do you create a mission? It's not working. Okay. Just think about the thousands of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get a painting. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? I do kind of want to just get the other tool before I finish this one. Plus, I don't want to make these videos overly long and dreaded. I think the mech is a little bit louder, too, than it was in the demo. I could be wrong. I was like, I wonder what was in there. Uh, I already had it. I'm doing something risky. Oh, shit! So that's what happens. Basically nothing. And yes, you can exit the mech. Alright, then we'll be like that. I'll just walk around. I'm sure we can upgrade the mech. To fly. Again, the meadows. There's something going on in there for an animal. That we can tame.
Yeah, it won't hear us coming. Okay, maybe it does. And yes, you can make your mech go faster. There was somebody complaining about the speed. They're like, oh, I got to keep sort of like jumping to move around a little bit faster. Well, you do eventually have the ability to, to make it better. Collect. Restore pine heights. Um... I don't know where I want to build, to be honest. I'm either Look, tempted to pause. I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been cancelled for nearly two hmm. centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off for greener pastures, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. For a moment, I was afraid. It's like, oh, what's in the water that's going to attack us? And then I'm like, absolutely nothing. Because we look like we could do something. You know what I mean? But we can't. Oh, you could feed the crabs. You just can't steal the crabs. Okay. Let me see if there's a map here. There is a world map. And we were right stick moves around. Left stick goes up and down. Okay. Interesting. Pine Heights. That's where we need to restore Pine Heights. Uh, so behind us, can we put a marker? Yeah, we can. Whoops. There's like a marker there. No, you can only put one marker. Uh, Booey Patooey. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, in that general vicinity. And then we're going to go to our trusty water gun. I don't think I can get a... Well, you'd be surprised. Caution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then that happens when you go on to the next day. Rise and shine, Exo Farmer. I that wish you could actually get rid of that. If I were to make a complaint. You did yesterday really paid off. Gotta find more of that goo goo. Push down on the left stick to run. You actually don't always have to do this. I just gotta find more of that red stuff. There's some more red stuff. I feel like the Kool-Aid man for some reason. If you know what I even mean by that. I have to explain it. Not funny. Yeah, let's tell the whole world about my achievement. We're almost halfway there. I'm 
Gonna need some more water from a pond nearby, which there is, thankfully, because I don't want to have to keep running back and forth far. Because uh, even in a video game, I can have lazy tendencies. There's got to be a way I can toggle between two of these things. Switch tool. V. Yeah, I... I don't have a V. I mean, I can do that, unless that's what they mean. That's not really hot switching it, though. Let me just do this view quickly. Might be able to see things a little bit better, quicker. Hmm. Might be able to get up there. Ooh. That felt good. Oh, that's not the Noxic thing. The Geo Shard. Whatever that is. You know what? Let me pause this really quick. Alright, I'm not gone as long as I was thinking I was going to be. Because I just saw something cool that I wanted to show you. This old thing caught your eye, huh? It's an ancient megastructure. No way to tell what it was built for. Maybe it's just a huge art installation. Either way, it's no matter now. For all intents and purposes, it's just another mountain. Yeah, I thought this was cool. And that I would showcase it, because that's essentially what I do on my channel. I just showcase games, go, hey, check this out. You may or may not give a shit about this. Oh, that's funny. You can fall over. I can't wait to analyze this. Actually, I do remember that you could fall over because someone was complaining how terrible the controls were in that you could easily trip. That's the first time I've done that. I mean, here, I could see myself tripping for some very obvious reasons there. Are you serious right now? I think this is where I need to get out. Don't forget where you parked it. And then, yeah, you can just flip it. You cannot go in third person when you're off the mech. Nice. Fine. Ooh, some eggs. Watch some bird eat my face. Oh, wait. Not that kind of game. Paint gun and a pickaxe. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. Um... Okay. We'll do that. Wow. Those are some tough eggs. Know what I mean? There. All right. Let's get to work. I've been working this whole time. There's been a few slight slowdowns in terms of performance. It's been very minimal. Overall, first impressions are quite nice. I mean, I don't know how deep the game is. I haven't extensively looked into it. But as I've mentioned again several times... Your expectations aren't as high and you're more easily amused. Sometimes not always. When you ain't paying for it.
There's no way to aim down the reticle sights, as far as I can tell. It reminds me of that stuff from Zelda, if you know what I mean by that. It's been restored. Only 97%. Whoa, that seems to have done the trick. The ecosystem in this region is adjusting itself leaking this thing. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I sent countless reports to Earth, telling them this was it. A <laughs> new home for humanity. There just might be hope for this planet yet. I almost went up there. Until I realized. I don't I don't need to go, see? Oops. There. Remove that marker. Uh. Ah, uh, hell, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make a little something over here. Should I do it up here, or... Should I do it by, by this little waterfall here? Build a place to sleep. You know what? It's been almost a half hour. I'm just going to end it, and that'll be in my next video. That way I can make like a mini-series, because I normally don't extensively make a crap ton of videos on every single game. Unless I constantly have something to do, or I actually just want to play the game and showcase it, and then it's just like a random gameplay video. So thumbs up if you liked it. It does greatly help support that channel with the algorithm again, as always. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. We'll bend it in half, we'll twist it. And we'll either break it off in your ass, or give it a little bit of that. And if you want to subscribe... Exactly, like I need to explain that. And if not, well, I, I don't blame you. Thanks for stopping by anyways, take care. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I will see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.